Framer quick tip. A simple way to add a little motion to your site is to make elements rotate using the loop effect. But what about making them revolve, moving icons or avatars around a central point while keeping them upright at all times? It's actually not much more difficult at all. So let's take a look at how it's done. Let's take a look at the setup I have here in my project file. And it's really just a set of elements that are absolute position, and I've got them just optically in a circle here around the Framer logo. And I know I'm not gonna do anything with the Framer logo itself, so just to keep it out of the way, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose to lock it. Or you can press Command or Control L on the keyboard if you like keyboard shortcuts. Then I'm gonna click and drag a selection around all of these icons and with them selected, I'm gonna right click on any one of them and choose add frame, which is gonna wrap a frame around my entire selection. And now I can take that frame and I can come over here to effects. I can add an effect and I'm gonna add that loop effect that I mentioned earlier. And by default, the loop effect is going to rotate 360 degrees with a linear transition, which is pretty much exactly what we want. It's just gonna be a bit too fast. In fact, I'll press Command P here on my Mac to preview so you can see this is way too fast. And the reason is the default duration. So I'm gonna come back in here to the settings. I'm gonna come into the transition settings and it's the time that is the issue here. I'm gonna change this to 30 seconds. I'm gonna make it super long because I want a slow, subtle revolution of these icons here. And with that set to 30, if I press Command P again on my Mac to preview, there we go. We have that nice subtle effect, but because we are rotating this whole frame, our icons are going wonky. They're going sideways, they're going upside down. That's exactly what we don't want. So I'll return to the canvas, and what I'm gonna do to make life even easier is I'm going to right click on the loop effect that I just created on this frame and I'm going to choose copy because I want the settings for the individual icons to be almost exactly the same. I just wanna reverse it so that it cancels out that rotation. So with that copied, I'm just gonna click on my frame on the canvas and press return to instantly select all of the children. And then I'm gonna come back over here to effects. And instead of adding the loop effect, I'm gonna right click and paste the effect that I copied. So now we're close, and if I preview this, you can see that we've actually made the problem a little bit worse. We've got the icons rotating in the same direction as the parent frame that's rotating, so we've exacerbated the problem, but we're going to negate the problem by just going back into these settings and setting the rotation on the icons, instead of positive 360 degrees, we're gonna go negative 360 degrees to cancel out the rotation of the parent frame. So again, I'll press Command P on the keyboard, and there we have it. We've got the parent frame rotating positive 360 degrees, and we have each of those individual icons canceling out that rotation by rotating at exactly the same speed with the same linear easing, but with a negative value. And there you have it, just a pair of rotations that cancel each other out and we're all set. Drop a comment with what you wanna to learn to make next and I'll show you how to pull it off in the next Framer Quick Tip.